Welcome back. So last lesson we figured out that the product service itself needs an iProduct repository in order to communicate to an actual data source later on. So we're going to try and actually set that up now. So when we create a product service, we need to have a product repository in the constructor. So let's jump down to our product service test and I'm going to do it inside this first test we built earlier because I know it's not even possible to build a product service in the future without a repository. So I might as well just do it right here, that actual test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by creating a mock right here. So let's just try and just paste this in right here. And here, what we're going to build is a new mock. Now, it doesn't know about mock. And the reason it doesn't do it is because we need to do a NuGet package install right here. So I might go into manage NuGet packages, find mock and just press the install button. Or I'll use the built-in things in writer like alt enter or option enter and I'll ask it to install the package for me. When it installed the package, I'll ask it to do an import for me right here. Now it's using mock. It's up to you which way you use. The next thing I'll do is I'll just alt enter right here and create that interface called iProduct repository locally inside the current test class. So now that we have the local interface right here, what we want to do is we want to take the mock and we want to get the object from the mock to kind of fake that we have a real implementation class right here. And we want to send that to the product service. Now notice this won't work right now because well, if I jump to the product service, there's no constructor that accepts an iProduct repository. So let's just generate that constructor and see if we're done. Public product service. There we go. I'll pass in the iProduct repository and notice it doesn't know about the iProduct repository because we didn't move it yet. So again, the code is self-explanatory. It kind of forces me into each of these steps. I'm not even, I don't even need to think. It'll build all the code for me because it doesn't know about an iProduct repository right here because we need access to it. Now we can either let this guy know about the test. That would be wrong. Instead, what we want to do is actually want to tell the test to move this interface into production code because that's an interface we're going to use in production code. I just figured that out right here. So let's go back to the test and just right click the product service right here and just do a refactor, move and move that repository to another folder. And I want it to go outside of the test folder inside the actual onion core and inside the actual domain folder right here, just this area. And I just want to do the next and it'll move it. Now when this is moved, look at everything now working because now it knows about the iProduct repository. The unit test right here knows about the mocked object, the fake iRepository uh, implementation. And now let's just rerun this unit test because if that works, we're actually back to now having a repository passed in to our constructor. Next lesson, we'll figure out how we can then make sure that this is not null. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time.